Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Alright listeners and viewers, it's another interesting one. This time around this news says, Pastor Adeboye breaks silence, sends strong message to pastors. The General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has advised upcoming Christian member, Christian ministers to abstain from every appearance of evil. This comes amidst the backdrop of several allegations emerging on emanating against pastors and religious leaders in the country. Pastors in Nigeria have been in the news for the wrong reasons of late, with Piotr Fatonibu of Commonwealth of Zion Af Assembly the most recent one. It was reported that wife of popular musician Timi Dakulu, Busola, had also alleged that the Koza founder forcefully raped her when she was young. Fato Ibo, who denied the allegation, however, admitted that Busola once attended the same church with his family. The clergyman consequently ordered his lawyers to institute both criminal and civil cases against Busola. But speaking in a sermon, Titled Born to be Great, Pastor Adeboye on Friday warned pastors against hiding under the guise of grace to sin. He was quoted as saying, I feel compelled to say some things to those that are young and upcoming ministers. What I want to say is from the Bible. 1. There is nothing hid that shall not come to the open or made manifest. Mark 4.22 2. Sooner or later, your sins will find you out if you continue in sin under the guise of grace. Numbers 32 verse 23. Abstain from every appearance of evil. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 22. 2 Timothy 2 22. When you find yourself facing youthful loss, flee. Don't say you are highly anointed or something. Ask Samson. You may not, you may say I am old fashioned. I agree. I would never have a private secretary who is a woman. When a woman accuses you of something, nobody will listen to you, whether you are right or wrong. So be wise. I am old-fashioned, but I am still surviving since I was ordained. It is better to be old-fashioned than live and live than be modern and die, says Pastor Adeboye. <laughs>